Gay. Jerry Gar is here tonight. I like Jerry Gar. I like Terry Gar. You, you guys both know Terry, don't you? Yes. yes. Marvelous yes. actors. A lot of fun. Would you welcome Miss Terry Gar? Talking to a hurt woman here. Yes, yes. You are a, you are a real trooper for showing up tonight. I didn't know. I walked in the makeup. I saw you sitting there with this big thing wrapped around your knee. Yeah, I took the thing off my knee. Just yeah. Because I thought I'd hide this from the audience. But now that you brought it up, oh. I guess I won't be hiding it from the audience. Well, you were limping anyway, and your, your ankle is bandaged. So what, what, let's well, clear this up. What happened to you? I fell down a flight of stairs. Just it, it, there's no good story about it. I just slipped and fell down a flight of stairs. But I didn't want to miss coming here to say Aww. goodbye. Or, or someone told me you were going to be leaving this show. Is that true? <laughs> I, I heard nothing about that. Yes, yeah, Amelia so Earhart's missing too. You know. <laughs> Bring you up to date on the news here. I'm surprised. Yeah, we're going to pack it in a week from uh, tomorrow night. Oh, honey. Well, come on. Are you on sure now. about this? Yeah, I'm sure about this. All right. But I thank you for coming anyway. Well, I was. I wouldn't miss it for the world, even though I almost broke my leg. Yeah. You know, I called an ambulance, and, and the guy said, uh, my housekeeper called and said, she, said well, she fell down the stairs. So how old is she? I said, I tell him I don't know. I'm an actress. I don't know how old I am. <laughs> Why would they ask that? Well, I suppose because they'd have to Because they think you're an 80-year-old person that fell down the stairs. They oh, wouldn't I think see. It would well, you're me. certainly not an 80-year-old person. The, the agile guest of Johnny yeah. Carson. It's nice to see you. You've nice been with us a lot of times. One time I you know. weren't going to come on the show, though. I remember that. Oh, Johnny, that. I remember very well when I got a bad review. And I remember it was uh, the infamous Shirley Wood. I called her up and said, I'm not coming to do the show. You were booked that day. You yep. called that day, and somebody had been unkind to you, some reviewer. The nerve of me. I thought, oh, I'm canceling the Carson show, because everyone in the world has read that review. It was this show I did where this, this reviewer said, if a brick could sing, it would sound like Terry Gar. I'll kill him. I'll kill him, honey. Let's go get him, Marty. Yeah. Mary, what was his name? Yeah. I don't even remember. Wait a minute. They're laughing at this. That's funny. You know, he's like saving up that line. No, I, and I, I picked up the phone, I remember, and I called her, and I said, look, the only way to get over that is to come on the show and make fun of it and, and have fun with it, right? Yes. And you I finally agreed you came on and you got out of your system, but you were in a, in a real funk there. Well, you said you had got to come in, and, and who are these critics? You went on and on, like somebody maybe gave you bad reviews or something, right? Absolutely. I've had some, and, and they're painful. Yes, no. I... Sure, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I saw Leonard Malton give a uh, review, uh, Looking for Love, recently. Oh, did you? You had yeah. to bring that up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Looking Look for Love is a film that Johnny made in 1966 with Connie Francis. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> and Leonard... <laughs> Did you know they transferred that film to flammable nitrate stock? I didn't know. I mean, yeah. Are you Usually it's the other way around, but yeah. they... It was a cameo role. I played yeah. myself. How, how badly can you get hurt? Lots, lots. <laughs> well, Leonard Malton said, parts of Looking for Love, I really enjoyed. And other parts, I didn't like at all. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder he what does parts... Mal yeah. How many people do you know do Leonard Malton? I don't know. He does Leonard There's not a, not a big call for that, but he does. Oh, come on. Oh, you are. You I love all of you. Are. You do any impressions at all? <laughs> no. What? Well, I only do Michael in, uh, when he goes, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Give him more. She does this better. She does this better. Oh, Jesus. That's a good reading. That's a good reading. Let me see. That's what he does. I'm Batman. <laughs> Missy gets a bundle for it. I, I used to be married to him. And he gets big what? I used in uh, Mr. Mom. Yeah. You, oh, I of played, course. Uh, I thought. But I didn't know at the time that he was going to turn out to be yeah. Batman. I would have yeah. asked him, you know. Well, that was a hit picture. Weren't you in a real turkey, though, called. Uh, uh... <laughs> oh, let's bring up all the dirty laundry. No, come on. Weren't you in a thing called Wan Wonton, the dog that saved Hollywood? <laughs> yes, the dog that. <laughs> no. This is, just think of this as... Mr. Canadian show business royalty, I suppose. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Thank you. First of all, why don't you attack him? I didn't say anything. Because we're standing backstage and he says, I have nothing. I have nothing. I haven't got a thing to say. I, I go backstage and he's out 25 minutes. A That's killer, right. brilliant... <laughs> Well, that's a no, true comment. So now, I'm just not going to be good tonight. Then you, anyway, I didn't mean to bring up that wonton taunt. But yes, it, it, I was in that. It wasn't a big fabulous movie about oh, a dog a or something. Yeah. But I mean, you know, a person has to make a living. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Any other bombs? Hey. 
Well, I'll tell you the thing I did uh, like you in was that uh, the, the, your underwear commercial you did. Uh. Well, I mean, you know, you, you have a very uh, lovely shape and so forth, but uh, why did you decide to do an uh, underwear commercial? Because I felt it was important to, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't mean to say this it was very She was on television. It, first of all, they are made in America. They are not made in Japan. They are 100% <laughs> cotton. And I'm very proud to be modeling uh, American underpants. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. Have you ever heard been made in Taiwan or something? No, no, no deal, Absolutely huh? not. Yeah. No way. Now, do you wear this product? Yes, I'm wearing it now. Would you like to see them? <laughs> I'm gonna miss this kind of cheap show. So where you, can, you can just do stuff and nobody knows. And well, it goes this is not the McLaughlin Report. What do you want? If you want to go on the McLaughlin, go on the McLaughlin Report. Okay. We're here to have fun. Yes, we are. You don't are. have to get into great deep social issues. How's your personal life? I remember. <laughs> I mean, the, we talk about that, Terry. The last time you were here, you, it was the relationship wasn't going well or something. Well, you, every time I come on the show, I say, please don't ask me this. And you always do. But well, you know. I feel like I've had a longer re relationship with you than I've had with any other man in my life. Well? Because all the rest of them have fallen by the wayside, and you, you know, you're always there, you're always here. Yeah. And now, yes. you'll be gone. Be gone. I'll have to go find you, fly over well, Malibu or well, something. Well, I make house calls. You do? The <laughs> well, things are going better now, right? Well, you know, I've had my share of bad relationships. Who hasn't? Uh, lots of us I haven't. I have. Yeah. Uh, well, what? Nothing for me. No, I know. But I, I know we have a mutual friend that was Something not... No no no, 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 no. We just... No, we, let's bring it out oh, We know some information. No. We have some information that yeah. we're not going to... Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> let's see. I, I've gone out with uh, some nice guys and some bad guys and some, you know, good-looking guys, some gangsters. Some I didn't gangsters? know. gangsters? By mistake. I, yeah. <laughs> I didn't find out till later. When did you find out? When I talked to the FBI. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's always a that's always a tip off. That's always a tip off. We'll be right back. Stay where you are.